Welcome back to the broadcast. Well, your Prince Charming has finally walked into your life, so what happens next? Author Donna Arp Weitzman's new book, Cinderella Has Cellulite, <laughs> right? Oh, love that title. <laughs> Offers a realistic look at the road ahead in a new relationship. Good morning. How are you? Hi, good, Don. Okay. Funniest you? title ever. You have to explain the title. Please do. <laughs> well, it, it really just sort of came by mistake. Um, I was going to name it originally. Originally, I wasn't going to write a book. I just wrote some down some notes from Girlfriend Martini Times mm -hmm. and talking about remarriages and that sort of thing. And then it became a book. And I wanted to name it Shut Up and Wear Beige. <laughs> Because that's how you need to act when you're the second wife. And, Explain and, that a little bit. Why? Well, because uh, a lot of times, if you know, when you're the second wife, you uh, get into situations that you may not want to say anything at that moment. You mm -hmm. may just want to let it pass. Mm -hmm. And so, um, as a mother of a son who got married, a son who got married, I was the mother of the. You know, I was the mother that needed to shut up and wear beige. Mm. So I was going to use that title, and we researched it and found that a group of ladies in Alaska had t had taken the title. And there's a few women that have a club called Shut Up and Wear Beige. Oh, cute! <laughs> so we kept writing, or I kept writing on the book and writing on the book. And finally, when I ended it, um, if you saw the book, the ending says, "As you're looking in the mirror and you feel a little beaten up from your romance." Uh, it maybe it's not from the from the romance, but maybe it's just cellulite. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how it ended. <laughs> I like that. So what are the tips that we can find in this book? Well, there's a lot of tips. I brought some diamond rings. Oh, we love diamonds. Because you're all okay. Cinderella's. Okay. Yes, we are. And so these are big. I kept the biggest one. That's a good <laughs> that's one. That's the biggest ring for me. And um, so one of the tips is when you're when you've met your Prince Charming and you're headed down the aisle, mm -hmm. the ring becomes an issue if you're a second yes. or third wife mm -hmm. or fourth wife or last wife. And I'm the, the third. Well, then you yes. know, and you have a very large ring. I do. So. <laughs> <laughs> I do, and we had that conversation before. Oh, there the you ring are. Was, of course yes. you did. <laughs> and the reason it's such an issue is because if you have a bigger ring than the first or second wife, so we'll just say the last wife, mm -hmm. um, then you're her, more important. Her friends are going to be all upset and they're going to tell her look what he bought for her is he paying his child support oh, okay yeah, no kids. if you get a smaller ring then your friends are going to feel sorry for you and your family's <laughs> going to say does he love you enough so, so where's the balance can't win. in all that you can't win you can't win you just got to decide personally which way you're going to go if you notice i took a little diamond band and then mm -hmm. i added to myself to it mm -hmm. there you go so i wanted to make sure my ring wasn't too big or too small you know it's funny though because people do make it about the ring and then they, they make do. it when you're when you're going into a second marriage or third marriage and you're dealing with ex-wives and mm -hmm. um, or ex-fiancés, anything mm -hmm. like that, mm -hmm. it's it, ex-friends. It, mm -hmm. Ex-friends. <laughs> yeah, it becomes um, one of the issues. What are some of the other issues, though? Oh, there, well, there's so many. You know, um, now it's become common to have prenups and mm -hmm. all kinds of things like that. So that's always an issue. Um, you know, everybody weighs in on it. You know, if your mother, my mother was not alive, but if your mother's still alive, you know, she's going to want to know about that. Yeah. <laughs> um, there's also lots of other issues. Maybe the, the second or the last wife, the third, fourth, whatever, is 30 years younger. Mm -hmm. um, and that always becomes an issue. Or perhaps now, and nowadays, the, the new wife could be older. Oh, and that's so there's a chapter in there on cougars and kittens. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And my, I love my it. favorite, um, people ask me, what's your favorite line? Well, my favorite line is in cougars and kittens of all, the entire book. And that is if you are dating a much older man and you walk in and you're, you get carded at a bar and they ask for your ID to make sure you're old enough. And instead, he ta he pulls out his AARP card. <laughs> that's my favorite. You ask for a dirty martini, he asks for a shot of Melanta. That's, so that's awesome. That's my favorite. <laughs> well, what sort of advice do you have for women, you know, now that you're, you know, working on subsequent relationships? Um, what advice do you have for women? Well, I think we all want to be Cinderella. Mm -hmm. And we read that when we grow up. And I don't know about you, but I've never been Cinderella. I'm still not Cinderella. I'm trying to act like her. But um, we think everything's going to be perfect. Mm -hmm. And we want everything to be perfect. And my advice is it's not going to be perfect. But yeah. in the end, it's, it's probably still worth it. But you need to be aware going down that that aisle or gauntlet, yeah. that there's a lot of intricacies mm -hmm. and when that, you're the last wife. And that everybody has their baggage, right? And Definitely. as you move into, you know, a second or third marriage, you just have to make that assumption, right? Mm -hmm. that and there's going to be. And, and I guess the question then becomes, would you agree that, that it, it's what is their baggage? Can I deal with their mm -hmm. 
can I deal with that package or? Actually, uh, it's, it's when I remarried and, and I married a man that a lot of people know named Herb Weitzman, and Herb one time mentioned to me baggage, and I said, you know, really, there's not any baggage to anybody. It's really just prior experiences. Mm -hmm. yeah. And a lot of times that can enrich a second or third marriage, or, or it doesn't have to be a marriage, second or third relationship. Yeah. Where can people find your book very quickly? Well, there's right now we have several places. Of course, Amazon.com. Mm -hmm. um, you can get it on iBooks, Nook, Kindle. Um, it's been out for two and a half weeks. We have it in six different shops in the area, Forestwood Antique Mall, uh, the in Linen Snyder Boutique. Snyder Plaza. Uh, Alley Cush and Snyder Plaza. Uh, the um, right selection, and also Copper Lamp in Preston Forest. I think Very it's good. a darling book to give to a girlfriend. I it's love a great it. gift. It's great, a great, great. great. Well, so thank cute. you so much, and we appreciate this. Make sure you go get this book.